A year ago, I realized I was stuck. Stuck in what I call tutorial hell. Watching endless videos, finishing courses, building yet another to-do app. Everyone told me, just keep learning. It'll all click eventually. But guess what? It didn't. The job offers didn't roll in. Interviews felt like a nightmare because nothing I had done truly prepared me for real-world coding challenges. But then, I discovered something that changed everything. It wasn't about learning more, it was about learning smarter. I stopped following tutorials step by step and started focusing on building practical, portfolio-worthy projects. And the results? Game-changing. Not only did I land my dream job, but my coding skills skyrocketed, and I finally broke free from the cycle of confusion and burnout. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly why simply following tutorials isn't enough to land a coding job in 2025. The industry has shifted, and so have the skills employers are looking for. With AI now playing a major role, the bar has been raised, especially for junior developers. That's why I'm sharing the proven strategies and mindsets that will help you escape tutorial hell and build the practical, job-ready skills that actually get you hired. And this isn't just theory. These are real-world insights from developers who understand today's competitive tech job market. They've seen firsthand how the game has changed and know that success now requires more than just coding along with videos. It's about active building, solving real problems, and adapting to tools like AI. So, if you're ready to make the shift, stick around. Oh, and to help you get started, I've created a free CSS layout cheat sheet. It's a practical guide to mastering one of the most common challenges developers face. Just type CSS layout cheat sheet in the comments and I will send it to you right away. So, let me tell you why tutorials might be holding you back and, more importantly, how to break free. So, you've done the work, you've watched the tutorials, you've followed the projects, but when it comes time to build on your own, your mind goes blank. Or maybe you finally got that interview, and the moment they asked a real-world coding question, everything you learned vanished. You froze. You were prepared for instructions, but not independence. The truth is, the way most people learn to code isn't enough anymore. The industry has evolved, and the gap between tutorial learner and hireable developer has widened, especially in a world where AI can now do surface-level code faster than ever before. So if you want to stand out, you need a different approach. Let's talk about what's holding you back and how to change it. Tutorials are great for what they are, a starting point. They give you structure, they give you quick wins, they teach you syntax. But here's the hidden danger no one talks about. Tutorials teach you to follow, not to think. You build your confidence by completing steps someone else designed. But what happens when there are no steps, when there's no walkthrough? That's when tutorial hell hits. You've built 10 to-do apps, five calculators, and a weather app, but none of it teaches you what to do when your app crashes and Stack Overflow has no answer. None of it teaches you how to read someone else's messy, undocumented code. And none of it prepares you to think like a developer because you've been trained to copy, not to create. So let me be clear, you don't escape tutorial hell by doing more tutorials. You escape it by building, by struggling, by thinking through problems from scratch. The tech industry isn't what it was five years ago. Today, AI can generate basic code in seconds. That means employers are no longer hiring developers to write surface-level code. They're hiring developers who know how to structure, debug, refactor, and maintain real-world projects. Problem solving is the skill employers care about most. And the only way to develop that is through real, independent, messy, error-filled practice. So let's walk through what you should actually be doing if you want to become a job-ready developer in 2025. This is the exact roadmap that helped me and hundreds of others finally get real-world results. Step 1. Build from day 1. Stop waiting until you know enough to start building. You never will. Instead, adopt this mindset. I'm going to learn just enough to start a small project, then I'll figure out the rest as I go. This is how professionals learn. Learn by building, struggle early, get stuck, break things, fix them. And if you use a tutorial, don't copy it line for line. Change the features, break the app, add your own twist, make it yours. 
Step two, tackle bigger, real projects. Yes, those simple projects helped you get started, but now it's time to build one or two larger, more complex applications. Choose something that genuinely interests you, a problem you wanna solve. It'll keep you motivated and teach you how to manage real project complexity. Larger projects teach you how to structure your code, how to plan and debug across multiple files, how to think like a software engineer, not just a coder. And guess what? Those big projects, they're what impress employers, not another cloned calculator. Step three, learn to read other people's code. Most of your professional life as a dev will not be spent writing new code. It'll be spent reading, understanding, and fixing existing code. So build this skill early. Contribute to open source projects, study repositories, learn how experienced devs structure their logic, write clean code, and comment effectively. This one skill will dramatically accelerate your growth. Step four, master your tools. Your IDE, your browser's developer tools, and most importantly, your debugger are not optional. Learn to step through your code line by line, inspect variables, track down bugs, analyze network requests, use version control like a pro. This is what separates beginner coders from real developers. Step five, focus on one tech stack. Stop chasing trends. Stop jumping from React to Vue to Svelte every other week. Pick one stack and go deep. For six months, commit to learning everything about it. The framework, the libraries, the patterns, the deployment workflows, the testing tools. Mastery comes from depth, not dabbling. Step six, use AI smartly. AI is a powerful tool, but it's not your teacher. Use it to explain code, walk you through complex logic, refactor your functions, answer questions like a tutor, but don't let it write your projects for you, especially while you're still learning. Relying on AI too early will destroy your growth. Instead, use the 20 minute rule. Try to solve the problem yourself for 20 minutes before asking AI for help. Step seven, build in public and network early. The sooner you start sharing your learning journey online, the better. Post your projects, share your wins and failures, connect with other devs, get feedback, ask for help. Platforms like GitHub, LinkedIn, and X, Twitter, are career multipliers. Your first job might not come from a job board. It might come from your network. Let people see your growth in real time. Step eight, have a clear plan and stick to it. This journey is long. Without a clear roadmap, you'll keep switching paths and getting lost. So make a plan. What stack will you learn? What projects will you build? What weekly goals will you set? Then put on your blinders and stick to the plan even when distractions come. Everything I just shared isn't about working harder, it's about working smarter. You don't need to burn out. You don't need to consume every course. You need to build with purpose, code with clarity, and trust that every time you struggle through a bug, you're building the muscle that actually gets you hired. This journey is hard, but it's not random. And if you stick with it, you'll come out the other side, not just as a developer, but as someone who knows how to create solutions in the real world. So if you're ready to start building your developer career for real, not just follow along with one more tutorial, I've created a free CSS cheat sheet that's yours today. It's not just a syntax reference, it's a productivity tool to help you write cleaner code faster as you build your first real projects. Just comment cheat sheet below and I'll send it straight to you. And now it's your turn. Which one of the eight strategies are you going to implement first? Let me know in the comments. If this video gave you clarity, please give it a like and subscribe for more deep dive strategy first videos that help you master coding and stand out in the tech world, especially in 2025 and beyond. Remember, you don't need another tutorial. You need to build.